If you're looking for a more natural, easy, go-to makeup look, Palladio has a lot of good options that look light on the skin and you're not weighed down by your makeup. The first part that I would recommend is that start with a natural looking complexion like a tinted moisturizer and go light on the eyeshadow. And then you can really enhance your look with um, their matte blush. This is in Peach Ice. And this is great because it's a very soft color and it doesn't look heavy on your skin. And so I would just add a little bit to each cheek. And it's very subtle, so you don't you don't have to worry about adding too much or too little because it's very easy to get a soft, soft look with this. And then for the lips, I would start with Palladio's Lip Liner, which is clear, and that's great because you can use it with any of your lipsticks and it fills in the lines in your lips so that you get a fuller look when you actually go to apply your lipstick. And then we're gonna go with, I like to use the High Intensity Herbal Lip Balm. And also has great wear. And so just with the blush and the lips, you already get a pretty easy, um, simple, natural look. And you can also add in the Herbal Lip Lacquer in Darling Pink if you want a little bit more shine. And the last piece to this natural, fresh-faced look is I like to use brown mascara because it's not as dramatic, but you still wanna highlight your eyelashes because they make a big impact. If you want a more dramatic look, go with the flat color. So just a few products, you can have a lovely, natural, and simple makeup look from Palladio. To dress up your office makeup or have a little fun during the day and kind of give it a sultry angel kind of a look, I like to use the Palladio products to enhance my the features such as your cheeks and the matte blush does a really good job. And this is Bayberry, so it will kind of be a little more angelic, a little darker. You can either brush upwards, there's two different ways you can wear the blush. Or if you just wanted to have a little just on your cheeks. Usually I'll just take a plain powder brush and blend it in if it's if I go a little crazy with the, the blush. And the next step would be to take the Claudio Perfecting Lip Liner, which is clear. So you don't have to draw perfect lines, but it'll still keep the lipstick in. Next I like to use the High Intensity Herbal Lip Balm in Pizzazz Pink because the color is really great for the spring summer kind of looks and it gives a little pop of color. So I love to use that and usually I will just take the Max XX Lash Palladio in brown if, it, if I'm just gonna be in the office and I'll just apply it to my eyelashes just to get my eyes to stand out I usually take a little of the Palladio Herbal Precision Eyeliner in the whiteout and just to bring my eyes out and give the appearance that I'm well rested, I'll fill in the waterline on the bottom just to make the eyes stand out. And that's a really good way to pizzazz up your day makeup, office makeup, and have a little sultry angel from Palladio. get a good night look that kind of emulates the red carpet looks that are going around with the bold lip, Palladio has a lot of options. First of all, if you have dry skin or oily skin, then you should definitely pick up the dual wet and dry Palladio foundation because you can put it on dry as it comes, or you can also take the sponge that comes with it. And if you just put water on it and then rub it in the foundation, 
then it'll be create the wet look. So if you have drier skin, you would want to wet it and use the wet kind of foundation on it. And then if you have oilier skin, then you can just rub it as it is and then rub it on your face as foundation. I really like this because it's just an easy option to put foundation on. You don't have to deal with any liquid form and you can carry this around with you anywhere and just do touch-ups, super easy. The next step you'd wanna do would be to do some matte blush. Matte looks really natural, flush cheeks. It doesn't give too much shimmer or any shimmer, it makes it matte so it's natural. This one is Toasted Apricot and the popular blushes now are more of a skin tone. So apricot and peaches, those are more skin tone than a pink. So if I wanted to do a night look, I would go with the peach tone so you can accentuate your eyes and lips more and make them the primary focus. Once you're done with that, you can start on the eyes. And I like the Palladio Herbal Eyeshadow and this is the Mystique one. This is my favorite one. They have many other ones, but this one's my favorite because it has the highlighter, a dark one, and some bold colors, which that's really nice. But we're gonna take the, the white one and just put it all over to brighten. Real easy. You can also go under your eyes. Then I'm gonna take the Ultra Bold Palladio Eyeliner, which is the marker. So we are able to do a line on top. Just relax your eyes so there's no creases. And you're just gonna follow your lash line all the way to the end. We're not gonna do a cat eye because I wanna make the lips the primary focus of this look. So we have the base of our eyelashes. I'm gonna do the other one. I like to feather it on because I feel like I'm getting more focused than just drawing a straight line. But once I pretty much have both of the lines looking good, I will move on and take a bit of the same Palladio palette with the herbal eyeshadow and just take the darker one just a little bit and put it in the crease just to add a little depth to the uh, eye area. And then I'll just blend it with a any eyeshadow brush you have. If you want your eyelashes to look bold without any gaps, I like to do the inside waterline. So I will take the Palladio Twilight, it's the eyeliner and the eyeshadow. I like using a pencil, it's just easier because some people are squeamish about doing the top, but you have to look all the way up and fill in that waterline kind of make a fuller lash so when you apply your mascara, there shouldn't be any gaps. And my favorite here is the Curls Rule from Palladio and this is black because we're going bold. Uh, so I will take the wand all the way to the bottom and kind of move it around so that it could get some thickness while it's coating my lashes. And this one has a really good formula so I don't have to do too many coats. It's really nourishing for the eyelashes and it really gives a good pigmented color without having to do too much. So the easier the better. The lips definitely need to do the perfecting lip liner before you put them on because this will just make it stay and not bleed. Um, nourish your lips so it's not dry around that area. Then I take the Palladio Lip Lacquer, and this is Chic Magenta, because dark, bold pink and red lips are in right now. And this has vitamin E in it. It's really smooth, soft. It goes on easy. So you really don't have to 
worry too much about it. So you wanna just blot your lips instead of rubbing it around because you don't wanna rub the color around and cause it to bleed even more. And that is how you get a quick, easy Palladio night makeup look.